Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to customize and style a password protected page in WordPress. Now before we dive into this, I am using Divi, but this tutorial is not based or geared around just Divi itself. You can actually apply the method I show you here to any WordPress theme. And I've been doing this for years as I've been developing WordPress websites. And I did it just recently on a site and I was like, you know what, let's make this a tutorial because I'm sure it would help out a lot of folks. And again, this is not applied to just Divi. This will work across any WordPress theme you use. So with WordPress, you have the ability to create a password protected page, which is all great, but usually it looks atrocious depending on what theme you're using or depending on what you have in, the, in regards to styling, often it'll look like this. In this case, I'm using the Divi Builder on this page and the password protected post is full width. It just is not pleasing to the eye. It looks kind of atrocious. I would love to be able to style this to be a little more pleasing for the users and maybe to give the button a styling. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create this look to where there's some padding. It's not as wide and I'm gonna show you how to edit and customize this button as well. So again, on this page, you can see that I've got it set to password protected. If, you, if you're not aware of how to do that, all you need to go is to go to your WordPress page vis visibility and click password protected. I've got a super secure password of one, two, three, four. And now we're ready to customize this. Now, before we dive into this and I show you how to do this, one thing I do wanna say is we are going to be writing just a little bit of CSS, just a few lines. And this is why I find it so important to know at least the fundamental elements of CSS. So I do have a whole CSS course. And if you're interested in learning more about that, check out the promo code below because you can get a discount. And you can join my, my course and I'll show you how to customize your sites so you'll be a much more valuable web designer. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. First things first, I'm gonna right click around the password protected form. And I'm gonna use inspect element. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna search for a class or an ID that we can customize. And the important thing is here is we don't wanna customize the entire page container or anything like that. We just wanna focus on the form, the password form. So I go into much more detail in this in my CSS course, but we're gonna search until we find something that tells us that, hey, we can target the entire password protected form. And in that case, I'm seeing a class right, right here of ET password protected form. So let's click that. And this is the class that we're gonna use. Now, this gives us two classes right offhand. It says post password required and then password protected form. We're actually just going to use this. But what I'm gonna do is write the code in here and I'll show you how we're gonna tweak this to put it in our site. So first things first, let's add some padding. I'm just gonna do padding and let's try 100 pixels. By doing that, you can see that this added padding to the top, right, bottom, and left. If I were to do 100 pixels and then 20 here, that's gonna do 100 on the top and 20 on the right. And again, I explain this more in my CSS course. But for right now, I think 100 looked good all around. So let's do that, yep, that looks good. However, I think that it's still really long. Most passwords are not gonna be very long. So let's set a max width. We're gonna do max width and let's try 600 pixels. Let's see how that looks. Let's do a little more because you can see the text jump. Let's try 700. And yeah, that looks good, 700 looks good. However, it's scooted over to the left. We wanna center this. And the way you can do that is by adding a margin and we're gonna say margin auto, which means that this is going to automatically place it in the center of the page. And check that out, guys. Just a couple lines of CSS, and we have ourselves a already much better looking password protected page. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all this, and actually I'm just gonna take it up to this class, because I don't wanna, just in case there was some situation where this class right here wasn't in there, I just want to make sure this just applies to the form. And what we're gonna do is, Normally you'd wanna put this in your child theme style sheet, but for right now, I'm just gonna drop this in my theme customizer since I'm using Divi. And I'm gonna go into my custom CSS. And the cool thing about this is we're actually gonna be able to see this live, so watch this. I paste this in here, and there we go. We can see it live. So if I were to take out the padding, you can see the padding is adjusted. So we've got the padding back in there. That's all looking good. Last thing I wanna do just to wrap this up is to customize the button. So same thing, we're going to inspect just the button. And we'll keep our CSS sheet open here so we can look at all this. And you can see that this button is pulling from the styling of this class right here. 
ET password protected form button. So let's take this entire thing and let's drop it under the code in our style sheet. And now we can start having some fun. Let's take this color first of all, because I think I do like that green since it matches my brand. But what I want to do is let's add our brackets. And now we can customize this button. Instead of it being outlined of green, let's make the background green. Check this out. Let's say, hey, let's make that background that green. That looks good, but we can't see the text now. Have no fear. We can do color, white. And that white looks like it's being overwritten by the original styling. So as I show in my course, and as many of you know, you can just do important, which says, hey, this is more important than the theme styling. Let's do that. That's all looking good. However, when you hover over it, we don't want to neglect the complete UX, the user experience. So let's make a hover class real quick and we are gonna be done here, guys. Let's copy this whole thing. Let's drop that in there and I'm going to add hover over this. And now all I wanna do is flip flop. I wanna take this color here and let's put this as the color. We need to make sure we add the whole hex there. And let's do a background of white. It could be anything though. And now when I hover over that button, we should see the colors flip flop. And check that out. Very, very cool. The other thing you could do is maybe add like a border just to see kind of the more the button border. Let's do like two pixels solid, that green. Oop, let's add that hex, that um, pound sign there. And there we go. Now, when I hover over it, we should see a border button. And check it out. Very cool. So you could make some adjustments. And again, since I'm using Divi, it's pulling the little arrow. I'm not going to worry about it in this tutorial, but if you're using Divi, uh, you can target that arrow and uh, delete that, or you can use some other custom styling. But yeah, guys, that's it. Just these few lines of CSS are targeting all password protected page forms. And then this coding right here, you can change the actual button and you can add as much styling or as little styling as you want. So you can do some really, really cool things. We're not gonna worry about changing the text because that's gonna get in some PHP and uh, we're not gonna just worry about that. But in any case, knowing how to style this is really, really beneficial. And again, this is not applied to just Divi. This will work with whatever theme you're using. So guys, I hope this has helped. Check out the code, the post below, because this code is going to be available for you. And then again, if you want to know how to customize pages like this and feel comfortable with CSS, check out my course. Use the promo code below. You can get access to that with a discount. And I can't wait to help you learn CSS to help you make you a more dangerous web designer. All right, guys, hope this has helped. See you on the next tutorial.